Hey guys, what's up? So I think a couple of days ago I was talking on my stream about how easy it's become for me to put some flares in pants. So today I was going to do a little, I guess, tutorial on how to put some flares in some pants using some of my merch because I had a spare pair and a pair that I wore. Obviously, I guess that's how that works. And I'm going to make them a little bit, I'm going to give them a, a little bit of a wider leg, a little bit of a flare out. Uh, so let's do it. Okay, so I'm probably not going to talk a ton during this just because it's going to be a more i'm probably going to do like a voiceover afterward to describe what i'm doing just because it's not really something i can like you know describe constantly up to date super well um especially while holding a mic in my hand does it to be fair like this does this is a mic that i'm i can't attach but it doesn't matter so anyways i have the pair which i wear mostly and then i have a sample pair which has a little bit of funny legs and I don't wear as much, so I am going to cut some of the actually very fittingly. I don't know where my, so with these pants as well, I think you can see in this corner, it's essentially I'm gonna do this where I just have the back cut out, have it flaring out, give it a, just a, a bigger leg. These are already a little bit more tapered at the bottom than these are gonna be. So anyways, essentially what I'm gonna do to start off is take the pair, what did I just drop? So essentially the first step is going to just be cutting from the pocket down to the back of the leg. Um, and then not cutting too far because obviously all I have is the same leg length essentially to work with. I do have more merch on the way though. Uh, well, not really on the way, but there is, I have plans and by no means is it soon. So maybe I shouldn't even be talking about it. But what I can be talking about is use code cryos on Gamersups. I'm partnered with Gamersups now. Shout out them. Um, and, it, you know, yeah, I don't know. I guess that's all it really is. If you're going to buy gamer subs, you should Krause could get a shaker cup, I'm sure, if we get maybe if we use enough codes. So shout out. It'd be cool. Dude, a Krause shaker cup. It would, keep your, it would always keep your drink cool. Okay, I'm going to just start doing this. Otherwise, I'm going to yap forever. Because I'm going to I'm gonna need to turn these inside out anyways. Hmm. So uh, I'm going to commentate over this a little bit oddly, I guess. I'm just going to watch. Hold up. Oh, just, I thought I was going to talk there. But so I'm going to commentate over this, kind of tell you guys what I do right now. I'm just sort of getting the overall length and getting like the middle of the line where I want to cut out and kind of cut down. I'm like sitting here and like, oh, I'm talking damn, am I really going to cut these up? I don't wear them though. So it's like, I mean, this is better than not wearing them. Yeah, maybe that I can take the it. front and like. Put it in an art piece yeah. or something. I could do like something with pants, them. Like most pants, it's like whatever. That's what's, when I cut a big That's what's important. It's always about uh, reduce, reuse, recycle I mean, I'm not even type stuff. Cut the whole you know. Leg off. I'm just gonna cut the back. This is like eight and a half, four extra inches on the current one. It'd still be pretty good. Although with the seam, probably close to three inches. I mean, like a th but three inches is massive. You know what I mean, like think about it. I mean, I pulled it out almost to three inches instantly. So I think essentially what I was trying to say is like, uh, I actually don't know what I was trying to say, but what I'm doing right now is I'm just cutting up the spare pant leg, going up the hem with my, you can hear, you know, some nice pops right there. Just going up the pant leg hem, getting the extra fabric that I need for the back of the other legs. And, uh, you know. Okay, so I think. I know Am I going to talk? I think I'm going to be able yeah, to only use one pant leg to minimize the pain, which then True. like, okay, what am I do with the other one? Don't know. I don't know. Okay. But. I could, with how it's cut out and just how the legs are, I could probably use this as the bottom part. And For then sure. up here as the, as the part that's going to go closer Very to the smart. pocket area. We even got a little bit of extra here, which means we could either move it up more. So we can maybe get rid of this. Uh, to be fair, I could also just seam rip this out and get True. a little bit extra distance and then add a hem down here. But I'm also going to, I'm also going to take a little break because I never, I never do Classic. any project all at once. Not for any reason. I just once. can't. Yeah, I really can't. I don't know why. Pretty much what I was seam ripping at the end is if you see on the very bottom of the frame, if you rewind like five seconds, you see it again. Hold on. Did you rewind? Okay, well, if you you might have to pause, but then listen to what I say. Anyways, it was like the, the hem of the pant. The pant leg hem I just cut out. It's pretty much what I'm doing. Why is this going so fast? Did I fast forward this? Holy crap. Pretty much what I'm doing right now is I cut out a piece of it. I measured the length of it. And I'm now folding over. I think it's just really like a half inch sort of seam, which I will be sewing the other piece that I cut out from the other pant onto 
usually enough it gets you a nice it's like you know you're not cutting away too much fabric so if you need to go wider for some reason you can without losing much also i don't think i've mentioned but be sure you're doing all this inside out on the pants and then i simply just go through i uh you know i do some little clamps on one side just to kind of get it all aligned to know how wide i need to go on the very bottom all that stuff and once again i am just using one back of the pant leg on here instead of two different pant legs so you know you can get a lot out of a little type of thing go through i mark the other side just so i know whenever i sew it roughly the straight line that i want to keep and then i just sew it inside out which is very important it's close to the line just a straight stitch on the line is what i do and then you can go back with a different stitch for some strength if you need it uh, which I would suggest doing just because it's better to have it than not to have it And the main goal of sewing it is really just to keep it as straight as possible um, And obviously get like a good stitch because this is gonna be like Sort of that the main stitch. that's gonna be I guess the holder of it all So get as straight as possible do like maybe a short width or short length just to get more stitches in there and uh, I always do a little uh, reversal running. You see what I'm doing there? I always do that on the start and the end just to kind of like sew in the end. Just so, so you know, security shit. Rotating the pant leg, doing the same thing, but going down the leg instead of up at this time. But same premise, just, you know, a little bit easier because when you flip it, you get the other side. And it just works easier in a sewing machine. You know, that's how it goes. Real simple, like, you know, nothing too complicated here. And then you just take it to the very end. If you got excess, that's whatever. It's chill. We can we can roll that up and sew it together and make it look real spiffy. So right now I'm just ironing it so it's a nice crisper line, you know. And I'm also dealing with the excess we have, folding it over to make a nice bottom of the pant leg hem so it's all even. You could also just cut it if you want to cut it, but you know sometimes it's better to sew it so you don't have frayed materials. Uh, even if you like still sew you know protective layer you can still have like a raw edge you know but yeah i'm just ironing it doing all that stuff yippee do i even need to talk i feel like you guys oh i'm moving the camera oh, i'm sewing the paint i'm sewing the, the bottom part now w look at that dude you can't see anything good camera angles idiot this guy kind of sucks oh this part is the very top where i connected it right below the uh the pocket you kind of just have to shove the whole entire leg on there it is usually easier to just go through like the waist instead of trying to take the whole leg up there you'll just have a little bit wider of an area to get up in there definitely suggest that and uh that's one leg done and now i'm essentially just doing the same thing i did except a lot messier because i tried to freehand it and then i realized that's why there's a lot of chalk marks but it's on the inside it doesn't really matter then i just cut up straight as possible obviously because you don't want to wait i mean i guess you could do it wavy but it might make it slightly complicated when you're going to you might have to like press it and iron it and do like a lot of like little those little cuts just so it doesn't like curve funny you know what i mean i don't know technical terms my fault but pretty much once again like i said the same thing folding it over about that half an inch maybe even less don't judge uh don't measure me and then i'm just ironing it to get a nice crisp crisp seam that way when i sew it i know like exactly where my line is when i mark it with the chalk you know i know i know where that fold is and uh you know so i, I have a better idea of how wide my pant leg is essentially gonna be overall width of what i added maybe like three total inches on the very bottom if you want to add more i think i mentioned this earlier you probably have to go higher up on this one i probably could have added more um but just like us if you do you kind of got to be careful of like stretching your fabric a bit more because you're, you're kind of working on a 3d on like a 3d object in a 2d space you know so you sort of have to think about it like that and think how it's going to hang and blah 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 pretty much just finishing up the other leg doing the same thing ironing it once again honestly it's kind of a lot of repeat because you know there's two legs to every pair of pants that's why they're a pair of pants which is weird because you just call it a pant leg instead of a pant so i don't really know how to do because like you would think if it's just a, if, if it's a pair of pants and one pant leg would just be a pant but that's not how it really works so it's interesting to really think about like the what would you call it the etymology of it all i think etymology is the study of language i wonder how that came about i wonder how like they started thinking like like, why is it a pair? I mean, I guess you could just say pants, but like when you're talking, it's like, oh, can you get me a pair of my pants? Or like, can you get me a pair of pants? Like, I feel like, can you get me a pants? Can you get some pants? Can you get a, can you get a pants for me? Like, cause if you, you know what I mean? Cause if you say, get me a pants, it sounds weird. 
if you're like, yeah, anyways, I was doing the thing. As you saw, I was through the waist hole a little bit. It's easier redoing the hem on this one just so it looks all tidy and neat. Uh, just because, you know, it's my merch, so I want it to still look pretty good. It is brown on brown, pretty much the same exact fabric, so you can't really tell any noticeable difference in it. Plus, it's blurry footage, but you know, it's there. Trust me. All right, do you trust me?